Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be doing a first impression on some of this black rouge makeup that I decided to give it a go. And the reason why I decided to try black rouge is because if you guys haven't watched it, I think a few weeks ago I did like a black rouge um, lip tint video. So I'll put it up here for you guys to check out. But I was truly impressed with the brand itself because I've never tried anything from Black Rouge before. So I decided to give this a go. So all of these products, I got this from Miss Beauty Korea. So I decided to get all from one particular site rather than getting all in a few places. So yeah, these are some of the products that I decided to give it a go. I know that other from Miss Beauty Korea, I know that other sites do stock like the cushion, the bronzer and possibly the blush, which I didn't get. So here I only got about four to five products to try for you guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna skip the whole um face demo and eyebrow demo i'm gonna jump straight into the eyeshadow look because that's where my products start off so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started so we're gonna jump straight into the eyeshadow and i'm gonna use an eyeshadow palette from black rouge and this is the black rouge crystal heart lock shadow and it is actually very very tiny but at the same time the eyeshadow actually looks like a decent amount and it comes in four different colors and i decided i chose this one i think out of two colors because i feel like the colors are very neutral and they are very easy to use as well and it's just great for daily basis so i'm gonna mainly use these three colors today so we're gonna first use this one here which is just a neutral matte brown color using a fluffy brush and just using this on my crease. Now with my first impression, I always skip any primer, whether it's on the face or on the eyes, to see the pigmentation. So obviously for this one, I'm gonna skip the eye primer and see how it is on my eyes. Now straight away, I can see that the eyeshadow actually have quite a bit of fallout. So I would definitely recommend just to tap any excess off before actually applying on your eyes. Cause you don't want it to drop or everywhere on your face after applying you know um, your face product so straight away I can see the color is actually quite pigmented surprisingly like um, and this one actually has a little bit of pink undertone to it for the brown next shade I'm gonna take is this um, shimmer brown here like a golden brown and the shimmer doesn't look um, too shimmery compared to this um, frosty gold color as well, like a lighter gold. Um, so I'm going to use this one because the shimmer looks lighter. And with a flat brush, I'm just applying this all over my eyes. And this one, the fallout, there's actually not much fallout. Ooh, it's actually really creamy. Ooh, very nice. So I'm just applying all over my crease. It actually glides on so easily. That's very nice. And this it has it has like a little bit of like a creamy finish as well. Hence why it slides on easily on the eyes. It doesn't feel powdery at all, which is great. Hmm. Definitely very impressed with this color. I'm gonna use the darkest shade in here, which is like a cocoa brown, and I'm just using like a like a smaller fluffy brush. And this one have a lot of um, excess fallout, and I'm just gonna apply this slowly onto the outer part of my eyes. Actually, I can go a bit harder because it's not as pigmented as the last shade I used. And just applying this on the other part and just slowly sliding it inwards and you can see I'm just pushing it into my um, lid as well I mean my crease line just to deeper it up and then using the leftover for the bottom part of my lash line That's very nice. I'm done with this eyeshadow palette and I have to say so far I'm actually very impressed with it. I'm just impressed that I'm ab able to actually pull such a simple eyeshadow makeup using this, this small palette. I feel like 
if I were to go on a really short trip and I know that I'm not going anywhere special, I would definitely use this for my trip because it just it's such an easy color to play with. It says neutral, it says I don't know, I actually really like it so and I'm actually very impressed with the pigmentation I just didn't like the fallout but I mean it's bearable like once you tap it off it doesn't really fall out onto your face anyway so the next thing I'm gonna do is I have the Black Rouge um, Pearl Valley Glitter and this one also comes in a few different colors and the color I got um, I'm not sure what color. Oh, I got it in G03, so it's a golden shade color, and it's actually quite tiny as well, as you can see. So it has beautiful shimmers in them as well. But I feel like it's not gonna be very opaque. Oh, and it comes with this thin one. So I'm just gonna try and apply it on the inner part of my eye. Oh, okay. And just the bottom. Oh, I like it's actually quite shimmery. I'm just gonna tap. It has like um, not just gold shade, but it also has like um, iridescent like pearl colors. So it looks like um, there's like purple and pink. It's actually quite nice. It feels very cold on the eyes though. So I'm just applying a little bit. So yeah, a little goes a long way for this, so definitely just take your time. So it also has some like big glitter to it as well, so definitely be careful when applying around the corner of your eyes. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like this because I am happy with the top um, eyeshadow on my lid. I don't really want to put glitter on the top. So we're gonna jump straight into eyeliner and the eyeliner I'm going to use is this one which is the Black Rouge Powder Proof Pro Liner and before I do that I actually have the um, Black Rouge Proof Stick Shadow which I totally forgot to use um, for like um, the under base like as like a primer on the eyes but I'm just gonna glide here and show you guys and this one is in the shade SS04 which is like a dark brown but in a way I'm actually happy I didn't use it on my eyes because I actually really like this eye makeup but I reckon if I want it more like a smoky eye look I would definitely put this underneath and then actually apply this eyeshadow so I might put like a little clip here of like me using this and then using the same eye makeup um, and see how it looks like so yeah, but again, this one has no glitter or shimmer on it. This is like a pure brown shade color. And from applying on my hand, it actually feels quite smooth. So it can be like a replacement for a primer. So next is the eyeliner. And this one is like this. I like how the packaging is like a pastel pink. So yeah. And then when you open it up, the pen liner is very very thin so I'm just gonna apply it here so you guys can see Ooh, very very thin stroke that's nice so because the weather's really hot my hands are sweaty I feel sweaty in general I'm not gonna apply eyeliner on camera because I know it's not gonna go well so I'm gonna go off camera and apply this and then I'll come back and let you guys know my thoughts I have applied the eyeliner and a really natural false lashes and also applied the bronzer because I don't have any of the bronzer from Black Rouge but I know that they do have like a contouring bronzer um, with the eyeliner it is actually very easy to apply but because my eyes is quite wrinkly it does define the wing the wrinkle just a little bit so definitely you have to apply it quite thicker if you do have um, wrinkle eyes because of how um, thin the eyeliner is but even if you apply it thinly it's not that bad like this is how this is the thickest I would go and it's okay but also this one does take a while to dry up so definitely 
leave your eyes closed just for a few seconds before opening it up so I did a little boo-boo there but I have fixed it it's actually very easy just to um, clean it off with a cotton bud which is great but in regards of the color it is actually really black which is very nice and definitely very easy to apply the wing now to finish off this look I am going to apply a lip product and this one is the Black Rouge Air Fit Velvet um, I'm pretty sure there's like um, a few editions of this because I have reviewed the latest one but um, I can't remember what edition this one is but it's in the orange packaging and this is number A16 which really attract me because it's a mauve pink shade um, so I'm gonna apply this on my lips and if you guys haven't watched the last lip product I did for um, on Black Rouge, definitely watch it because I was actually very impressed with the formula and the pigmentation and the longevity, hence why I wanted to do like a Black Rouge first impression makeup video because I was actually very impressed with that particular lip product which I thought, you know, maybe the brand is actually really good as well. So yeah, again, it's very similar and it's just, um, this is definitely the older collection compared to the other one that I have reviewed. But let's see. Oh, oh my gosh! It's like a neutral brown shade. I got it wrong. I thought it was like mauvey pink. Wow! Again, very easy to apply. Glide on easily and. Ooh, I am actually really impressed with this color. For some reason, I thought it was like a mauve pink, but it's actually like a brown nudie shade. Ooh, I actually really like this color a lot. It does show a little bit of my dry patches, but I think I have set it down, which is not too obvious. But yeah, I'm actually very impressed with this. Overall, I'm actually very impressed with the four products I have tried. Um, obviously, the stick shadow I haven't tried, but if I did try the stick shadow, it would be like five products. But overall, I'm actually very impressed with this, and it makes me regret not getting the other products like the cushion and the bronzer, um, possibly a blush. I'm not sure if they have blush, but... I would definitely give them a try when I do see the around on other sides as well. But overall, definitely very impressed with this particular brand. So I definitely would ask you guys to check it out. I think if I would have to pick one item from this collection to actually try and recommend to you guys, it would be the shadow palette, which is the Crystal Heart Lock Shadow because I'm pretty sure I got it at a really affordable price. And not only that, it is so lightweight, it's just easy for travel and it just gives you a very nice eyeshadow look like I mean you can't really create that many eyeshadow, I guess you can do um, like a faint smoky eye like um, this daily basis eye and maybe like a shimmery shade but I guess you can do like three looks in this um, from this palette but I was actually truly impressed with this if I have to choose one product. If I would have to choose the second one, it would definitely be this particular lip shade because I love my nude shade and you guys know with Korean makeup, they don't often release like nudie shades so I'm actually very impressed with this. So yeah, overall I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video. Let me know what other first impression one brand makeup look you guys want me to do and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys!